Welcome to Easy HTML in Canvas, Part 3, where you learn how to use the diff tag to create and modify tabbed pages for your course content in the Canvas HTML editor. In Easy HTML Part 2, we looked at creating columns with the diff tag, using the class equals column declaration in the opening tag. Diff tags are also used to create tabbed pages following a three-step process. First, we make a container for the tabbed pages with a diff tag by adding class equals enhanceable content tabs to the opening tag. Second, inside this container, we make an unordered list with one list item for each tab and then link them to a tabbed page with an A tag. A tags define hyperlinks to connect one page with another. For each list item, we type href equals hashtag followed by the tab number. Note the quotation marks after equals and at the end of the declaration. In HTML, when anything equals something, what it equals must be wrapped in quotation marks. For three tabbed pages, I want three list items, each with its own link. Finally, directly below the list, we add diff tags to make containers by adding id equals tab number to the opening diff tag. This diff tag ID corresponds to the tab number in the list so that when you click on tab one, it opens tabbed page one. Three tabs need three pages, so I make three diff containers, each with its own ID number. Now, let's look at this in the Canvas HTML editor. On our page in Canvas, I've set up a simple three-page tab set. In the HTML editor, we see the overall diff container for the tabbed pages with class equals enhanceable content tabs in the opening tag. Unordered list inside the container has three list items, each with its own A tag and href number that links to a diff page container. The page containers have ID equals tab one, two or three in the opening diff tags. If I want four tabbed pages, I simply copy the last list item paste it directly below that, and update the tab number in the A tag, and the tab name in the list. Then, I repeat the process with the third page container, update the ID equals, to tab 4, and select save to see the result. Now, there are four tabbed pages ready for content. If I decide that I don't want one of the tabs, I delete that list item, and the corresponding page container, and update my numbers to match. Here, I'll delete the second tab and the second diff container. Then, update the tab numbers in the list and the tab pages so that they match. Okay, now, I'll use this template for the content that I put in columns in Easy HTML Part 2, so I'll select everything from the first opening diff tag to the last closing diff tag. Next, I'll open the HTML editor on my Canvas page and paste the tabbed pages above the two column content. Then, to paste my content into the first diff container. Next, paste my page 2 content into the second container, and the third page content into the third container. Save and make sure everything works. Tab 1, Tab 2, Tab 3. Check the GIF. That's great. Everything framed clearly on a single screen, with three tabbed pages, all working properly. Two final steps now to polish the tabs. 1. I don't need the tab fonts to be so large. H3 headings are 18-point fonts by default in Canvas, and I want to keep them H3 so that they're accessible but they don't need to be so big. I'll change the font size in the Canvas-rich content editor by selecting each list item, and choosing 14-point from the drop-down menu on the toolbar. This looks good. Finally. I want to give the tabs meaningful names. For the first tab, I'll use outline ideas. For the second tab, good gifts. And for the third tab, bad gifts. That works. And this simple process is all that's required to put your own course content into tabbed pages in Canvas. To get started, copy a template and paste it into your Canvas page. Before you go though, let's summarize the key points from this video so that you can work with tabbed pages easily. Diff tags are used to create tabbed page containers. 
Unordered lists inside this container are used create tabs. A tags link tabs to tabbed pages. Numbered diff containers hold page content. And container tab numbers must match the tab numbers in the unordered list. With this knowledge in hand, and a little practice, you are ready to create and modify your own tabbed pages in Canvas.